That's today on an all new The Doctors. Coming up next, from Kylie Jenner to Lady Gaga, it's Hollywood's best kept fashion secret revealed. What do all these celebrities have in common? Mm. I'll give you a hint. It's one of Hollywood's best kept secrets. They're all wearing wigs. Amy Gibson, wig expert and author of Sex, Wigs, and Whispers, joins us to reveal how anyone can sport this trend confidently and comfortably. Welcome to the show. Wow. I love it. I love that, that wigs are more mainstream. And for you, you started wearing wigs for a medical condition. You know, I've had alopecia, different stages of alopecia for, since I was 13 and a half. And through the 20 years that I started on daytime television, I had to find ways to keep my secret because I was so fearful that I was mm -hmm. going to be ousted from the industry. That's you? That's me. OK, you're gorgeous, oh, with I hair, love you. without oh. hair. I second that. You're going to make me cry. You're going to make me wow. cry. Thank you so much. Wow. And really quickly, can I interject? Are you responsible for this? What? Dr. What are you talking because about? All right. She changed Travis. her look. She changed her look. I was just taking it for a test drive, and I really Doesn't like it. Doesn't she look gorgeous? I, I, mean, I really. absolutely. Thank you. I love it. Fell to the floor when I saw her backstage. Because number one, I didn't recognize her. <laughs> Because I wasn't expecting it, but also just how natural and beautiful she looks with, with that wig. It's, it's phenomenal. It felt very transforming to put this on. And this is for just aesthetic cosmetics. So you can imagine for medical reason, chemotherapy, alopecia, any kind of scalp injury, how impactful this can be on a woman's self-esteem. It's massive. And so we have three guests here because your whole concept is helping people wear wigs comfortably. Now, Corinne, you have yes. alopecia as well, right? I do, yes. As of 12, I lost my hair completely. I have Amy today. She for found me. A very awesome life where I can blend in and completely interact normally and be treated completely the same. Oh. And how do you pull that off? With Corinne, I decided to take her into a section that, um, take her into a color that really popped her eyes and her, and accentuated her cheeks. With her alopecia, um, the biggest thing women worry about is that it's gonna fall off. That's their big fear. So there are two things, two really good solutions for anybody that's going through hair loss or going through treatment from cancer. One is called the Milano wig grip. And it, this is just a little band that you wear under a wig and it really secures it. The other thing is two-sided wig tape. And it's a little mm -hmm. piece of tape and you put it on just like you would with two-sided tape. You put it here and here and here and here. Hello, doesn't move, okay? In fact, I jumped out of a plane 13,000 feet going 125 with miles an hour with a wig only taped on and that thing that did not move. It. All right, okay? and that's Let's an important Aaron. point because you okay. don't want, obviously, you don't want your wig to fall off. Right. All right, so. Erin, you're also gorgeous. Thank Ooh. you. So with Erin, I wanted to accentuate her jawline and her gorgeous coloring. Yeah. So I thought blonde was it. How do you feel blonde? Oh, I love it. <laughs> she rocks, she rocks. We switched. But here's what's important. There's something called baby hair that we cut in. And basically, what we do is we take the first layer of hair. And so basically, if you cut into it That's and you good. keep on working on it, it will look like it does here, like little baby hair, because she has some hair loss from the back of the foreline. So that wig would actually work really well with her. Love it. OK, this was a challenge, because Melissa has hair this big. Mm. And my, my stylist, Kathleen, and I did something called the X. You take a little bit of hair this way, a little section, and you exit from point to point, and you keep on bobby pinning so it's nice and flat. And then you take that wig cap over there, mm -hmm. and you basically put all the hair under it, and then this stays nice and secure. But the Can biggest I? thing that yeah. women have to be careful of is getting a wig with too much hair, right? Because right. then you look like you're wearing a helmet. That's when somebody walks up and goes, oh my god, like I love your piece, <laughs> <laughs> right? But what you want someone to say is, wow, what's different about you? Mm. So all these tips are in sex wigs and whispers. And I, and I and think the most through. important tip that you've shared with you. me or anyone watching so is if you wear a wig, no one has to know. And there are now methods and methodologies Absolutely. that can work just for you, your look, your face, your color. You three ladies exemplify that. Thank you for joining us, Amy. I get that you're a guy you. and you get it. Absolutely. <laughs> That's That's right. Right. We'll be right back.